my dad was a Yorkshireman through and through. As he put it, the greatest fast bowler that ever drew breath. His name was Freddie Truman. He was the first cricketer to take 300 test wickets. That's it, he's back! 300 test wickets! And batsmen were really terrified of him. And Solomon swings and he's caught behind. Freddie was a great cricketer, there's no doubt about that. And it was a gentleman's game when he started his career. And of course, Freddie come off an humble background, a coal mining area. Grandad worked down the mine and he loved cricket. And he found of all the local children that Freddie had talent and he found a way to push him in the right direction. When Dad won his Yorkshire cap, he did a fine thing and brought it back to give to his father. Grandad welled up and said he would keep it all his life. Two years later, Dad came back with the England cap. Grandad said, you can keep that, son. I've got the only one that matters. And the Yorkshire cap was buried with my granddad. Friday Fred is only a nickname that was given to me by press critics, radio and television commentators. I know I'm fiery on a cricket field, but that's because I like the win. Dad was very blunt and direct. Even today I meet people who he offended, but Dad's principle was to be honest and tell people what he thought. Now Fred was accused of Jack the Lad, but he wasn't. Out here in the middle, he played hard, but fair. He played within the laws of the game. So many times Dad was wrongly accused of bad behaviour. I think the bad boy image stuck because Dad really wasn't one of them. He wasn't part of the establishment. He wasn't the sort of person that would pander to people. But he loved Scarborough and this is where we lived. And for me, it really does have a lot of happy memories. I have a big sister, Karen, a twin sister, Rebecca. Mum and Dad were married for 17 years. He was a loving and devoted dad. This is where we saw the softer side. Mum hated the long cricket tours, and when I was eight, they split up. When you're married to a famous person, everyone expects it to be absolutely out of this world and marvellous. You have a car to drive, you have a nice house, nice clothes, and you go to famous places and meet famous people, but that isn't all. That isn't the end of it. You can also be a very lonely person in the world on your own while your husband's thousands of miles away. In the evenings, after they'd split up, he would come back and see me. Dad used to tuck us into bed. As you can imagine, we really missed him. Me and my sister used to turn round often and retrace his steps on the carpet. On occasions, Dad would come to school to watch us play crickets. I was bowling the nets. Dad came over to me and said, Son, you're trying to bowl too fast. I said, Dad, I thought you'd want me to be like you. He said, No, I had a God-given talent. You haven't got it. I was so relieved. Thank goodness I didn't have to play cricket. Freddie had a sense of mischief. He used to wait for the opposition opening batsmen. And as they came out through the gate, he used to say, don't close that gate because you won't be long out here, he used to say. He had a mixed relationship with his club. On his retirement, he was presented with a silver platter the Yorkshire County Cricket Club couldn't even be bothered to get that engraved. He had to pay for that himself. When I gave the reading at Freddie's funeral ten years ago, I said then that Freddie was a genius. And I don't use that word lightly. I put him at the side of Muhammad Ali and Pelly. Some of the most precious times I had with Dad were here in the car where I had him to myself. When I feel like I'm really missing my dad, I'll often take out his CD just so I can hear his voice. As we say in Yorkshire, if I've my time to come over again, I do exactly the same things in the same way. Now, Lee, you're not a cricket fan, are you? But you not. are a Fred Truman fan, aren't you? I love a programme, right, called Indoor League. Which was his 70s indoor pub game, yeah, game I've, show. I've genuinely got a DVD of it. <laughs> oh, yeah, 